there is two new video installations here at Tech. Um, one is called, I mean, continue the, 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 the body uh, of work and the reflection that started with the video sculpture series in which I, I torn apart uh, like the image uh, from the surface of the screen. So I'm very excited to show this piece at Heck because it's, uh, like it's, a, it's a piece that I took a lot of time in to, to process. It's, um, in it, I explore uh, like more, uh, more than I, that I've done ever before, the narrative potential of this you know, mediation, like this indirect gaze to the image. So that's what's going on actually uh, in the video sculpture that uh, with an act of destruction, suddenly there is a whole new array of, of the act of looking at the picture, your body become a tool that you are aware of. You have to position yourself physically, but perhaps also, you know, um, uh, politically in the face of the, of the operation that is at stake. So in this piece, uh, the, the audience will be invited to gaze on the other side of a black lacquered glass, which will be almost like a, a surface of still water, let's say. And uh, from two large video walls of white lights, an image will be mirrored and revealed only uh, on the surface of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's very reality based again, but also it makes a detour to science fiction because I think that we, I mean the the, the last couple of years uh, the the future has kind of invited itself in the present and we are kind of chasing uh, reality because we already project it into hypothetical potentially terrifying world. So that's somehow the topic of uh, the video sculpture Archon. My idea, this has like a profound impact on me, this film, a certain amount of clarity and kind of kick-started a whole array of reflection on, I mean, the ever-expanding presences of screen. Somehow the screen ceased to be this window, but it was kind of a, uh, in a perverse display in some way of, uh, you know, looking at yourself, looking back and like kind of creating this tension to the gaze and the power of illusion uh, that the, the screen had upon the viewer. So uh, the that the gesture of violence, a certain amount of uh, violence being applied to the screen by taking a knife and carving into the surface of the image, tearing it apart, came, I guess, as a, you know, as a, as a follow-up to this, uh, to this uh, film. So the realization that when you turn apart the, the filtering layer that somehow create the optical phenomenon of the image to you and all the you know, all the input that it implies for you emotionally, politically, uh, that this layer can be carved in and suddenly re uh, reveal uh, almost like a suprematist version of the image, which is a kind of white wall of light, which is the primitive state of the image before it's mediated by this filter. This is the question that interests me very much. All of my work has a, a kind of reality-based uh, structure. I mean, they start from, they, they derive from, from, from real life phenomenon. You know that we're in the digital age. And it is, it is all saved. Uh, I think that's because I've always uh, stayed true to a documentary approach. Uh, I, I kind of scout the, the world and scan the world and, and react to things that seems to you know, uh, event that could look anecdotal uh, or, or that passed through the, you know, the, the noise of the day. This is my school. Uh, there is this question of us as, as viewer and spectator in a kind of global stage which become more and more a, a spectacle that demands our uh, proactive uh, participation through social media, like in opposition to a more passive consumption of mass media that was TV. Uh, but we're going to send out a link to people who registered to buy more shirts, so look for that within the next week if you still want to buy one. Uh, I had the opportunity, thanks to the, the, the Starts uh, Mindspace program, uh, to, uh, to work with uh, scientists which are engaged in the field of uh, 
of AI. And uh, I've used some, uh, some um, crowd recognition software. So basically software that will decipher the architecture of the image and understand what is human, what is not, the movement, the speed. So basically uh, tools that can very well and are uh, used in, uh, in, um, in, in, the, you know, in the business of security or like in control. Uh, pot potentially pointing at the, you know, the, the kind of overarching eyes that would uh, of, of surveillance, uh, which is actually uh, more and more we see a phenomenon in, in China uh, of uh, AI being used for 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 public uh, control, and uh, it's hard to know the limit of uh, the, the at which point it becomes invasive. So I guess this this um, this piece was an approach, my first approach, I guess, on this new question of AI, uh, the riots that occurred in the USA are here used uh, to be, um, yeah, to be, to be deconstructed and, uh, and, and deciphered by this AI. So it become a, a work that is quite a, a collage of ever ending movement and chaos. And I guess at the time it was 2020 and it, it also felt like a, um, an accurate, let's say, a potentially accurate portrait of the state of the world at the moment where I did the piece and I was uh, doing this MySpace residency. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel anything. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's what I'm trying to say. It's like, I don't feel it. 